Hey there! In this lesson, we will work on a table. Now, let us make a clean, consistent table and I'll show you two possible ways you can approach this. Now, we want to be kind of consistent with the color scheme we have, so we most likely will use this gray and orange. I'll just copy that and I'll select a new slide. This is only to help me with the colors. And let me try something. So you will have two options here. Either you design the table by yourself with elements of PowerPoint or you go to insert table and you insert a simple, for example, four on four table. The advantage here is that everything works really quick. You have a few pre-designed elements. I, for example, like those more clean ones and you can adjust each object separately. For example, if you want different borders, you can select, for example, an outside border. Here you select uh, what kind of border this should be. Of course, not such a big one. You can make borders like that, even crazy borders like a diagonal up border. So this would be one way of creating a table. This has also disadvantages because you have to select the shading separately and it makes you just as much work as you would create this from scratch. I would select the eyedropper and select this color. Now you can see something like that is possible. This is if you want to present data quickly. However, if you would like to create a minimalistic table on your own, I would select another approach. I would create insert shapes and we'll compare both designs now. Let's select, for example, a simple rectangle. I'll create a rectangle like that and I want to show you a trick. A trick you probably already know, but maybe you didn't realize how this can be utilized. Okay, I'll select format shape, I'll go to the fill and we will work with gradients. And what do I want to achieve here? I want to use linear gradients and I want the left and right side to be invisible. How will I achieve that? I'll select three colors I'll make sure the direction is from left to right, like that. Okay, we have white, blue, and again blue, but I want it to be white. Okay, you can see I kind of achieved some transparency on the left and right side. I can even go to transparency by selecting the right color. Transparency full, the left color, transparency full. Okay, and I am left with the middle color. The middle color should be our orange and this is how I would start to design my awesome table. If I would select my gray, it would look like that and look how nice this looks. It looks really original and it's co something completely different. I would start to design my table like that. For example, since I have one, two, three rows, I would select one, two, three colors we already have. And we can go with this design that we already have. I would put this on the left side and maybe I would like a smaller gradient with two colors. I would get rid of the first color. I would take the gray to the left side and now I would have something like this. Let's just imagine that for example I had colors, uh, three colors here. Okay, let me at least try and get those. Eyedropper, so the first one. Eyedropper, will I get it? The second one, eyedropper. Now, as you can see, the second technique I do here is a bit time consuming, but it's much more original. It looks better, it's better designed and now I could have the separators. It could be done very, very simple. You don't have to overthink it. You just go to insert shapes. You, for example, insert a simple line here with the shift key and then you make it dotted. It's super simple. You just go to dash type, you select those, those dots. Then you go to round it and of course the width should be bigger because we would like to see them and the color, I believe the color should be the gray one. And look at that, okay? You can make it like this and what's cool here, you can also work with the transparency so it's not so strong. I would just control V, control V, control V. I would make those separators like that and look what I achieved. I would just control C and control V it until I have the amount of table content I want. So now I can compare those two designs. Well, in my opinion, this takes a bit longer time because you will have always to go to insert text box and you will have to place those text boxes separately. 
statistic one. Okay, I would have to control C, control V, control C, control V, and this would take me longer. Here, I just click one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So depending if you have many tables on your presentations or how much time do you have, I would suggest thinking about something like this. For example, I especially like the, the start that we did, and this could be just an indicator of the color. It doesn't have to be like that. It could be also like this. Just imagine how amazing this looks and how easy it is to make changes. I think that's a cool idea and just remember when you design tables, you don't have to use normal PowerPoint tables, you can always design them on your own.